I'm kind of self-taught in a lot of ways. So I just tried to analyze how I figured out certain things. And of course, there's a lot of things I haven't figured out at all, but I was just trying to analyze it. And part of that is also because as a teacher, I like to encourage my students to explore their own past and explore the things that shape them. And then I think from there, you can use that kind of as raw material for uh, whatever you want to explore. And I don't think anyone should be ashamed of where they came from or the things that aesthetically shape them. I mean, in my case, it was just a lot of Disney comic books and cartoons. A character like Felix the Cat is really interesting because it's there's circles, squares, cylinders, triangles. There's actually many different shapes going on that come together and form one idea, this character. And I'm really interested in how really simple building blocks can create something like a character that comes alive. I think the audience for this book could be anybody that wants to make anything, any kind of creative project. I'm sure people will look at my drawing style and think, that's pretty simple, I can do that. And actually, I, I think that's good. That's what I want people to say. Hopefully, it'll just inspire someone to feel like they can do it and that they can take whatever limited ability or limited means, even just using the cheapest materials. A lot of the, the things that are shown in the book are made with, uh, sometimes with just kids' materials. Part of my philosophy is, hey, anybody can do this. You just have to do it. I think the hardest thing for most people, myself included, is simply getting started. That's my hope, really, is that people might look through it and just feel inspired to make something of their own and to start valuing whatever it is they make.